Let's take a look at a problem where we use derivatives to find a rate of change. This happens to be number 67 uh, on page 195 of our textbook in Lesson 3.3. Uh, we're looking at uh, an application about television viewership. The number of viewers of television series introduced several years ago is approximated by the function capital N of T equals the quantity 60 plus 2T raised to the two-thirds. The domain for this function is t uh, is between 1 and 26, where n of t is measured in millions, millions of viewers. n of t denotes the number of weekly viewers of a series in the teeth week. Uh, t stands for weeks here instead of w, but that's a whole other story. Anyway, the question asks for two things. First, they want us to find the rate of increase of the weekly audience at the end of week 2 and at the end of week 12. And then they also want to know how many viewers there are in week 2 and how many viewers there are in week 24. So a couple of things I want to point out here. This function n of t tells us the number of viewers at a particular week, right? Millions of viewers. If you want to know the rate of increase or the rate of change, then you need the derivative. So we're going to have to find n prime. Okay. And so when I go to attack this problem, I'm going to find the derivative first, and then I'm going to plug in a 2 and a 12 to answer the first part of the problem. Then I'll come back to the original function, and I'll plug in a 2 and a 24 to answer that part of the question. So let's start with that rate of change. You can see here that I've written out the function n of t. Uh, I don't make the greatest of t's here with this particular device, but I'm going to do my best. What we're going to have to do here is use the general power rule. That's another, that's a specific case of the chain rule. And remember that rule works something like this. We're going to bring this two-thirds down and multiply it in front we'll subtract 1 from the 2 thirds to reduce that and then we also have to multiply by whatever the derivative of this thing is on the end. So here's what that's going to look like. We're going to find n prime of t using that general power rule. The 2 thirds comes down in front. We rewrite the 60 plus 2t. That's kind of like our u. We raise uh, this quantity to the negative one-third because two-thirds minus one is negative one-third and then using that chain rule part of this we have to multiply by the derivative of our u here so I gotta multiply by the derivative of 60 plus 2t which is 2 and so you put that all together and if we write this in ex as an exponential function, or a power, I should say, this would be 4, uh, 4 thirds, because 2 times 2 thirds is 4 thirds, times the quantity 60 plus 2t raised to the negative 1 third. If you're going to write this in radical form instead of power form, it'll look something like this. 4 over 3 cube root of 60 plus 2t. And a lot of times it's easier to do a calculation when it's written like this. Uh, just so you know uh, what I did here, um, this quantity 60 plus 2t to the negative one-third, that negative one-third is a cube root and it ends up in the denominator because the sign is negative. So the one-third makes it a q root, and the reason it's in the denominator with the three is that the sign is negative. You're welcome to leave it as four-thirds times the quantity 60 plus 2t to the negative one-third, and then just use that on your calculator. But if you want the radical form, I've written that here too. Okay, let's use this to answer the questions. So they asked us to find the rate of change uh, for week two and week 12. So that's t equals 2 and t equals 12. And so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to plug 2 into my derivative. And that'll just go in here where the t is. And 
So that's going to be 4 over 3 times the cube root of, oh, that's an ugly 3. Uh, I'm going to plug a 2 in here, so that's going to be 64, because 60 plus 2 times 2 is, oops, 64, man. And 64 is a good number because the Q root of 64 uh, is 4, okay? And so this is 4 times, or over, 3 times 4, and those 4s are going to cancel, and this is just 1 third. Now remember, this is um, millions of viewers per week. This is the rate of increase. Uh, so you would either say one-third of a million or maybe something more like 330,000 um, viewers per week, or we could write it as 0.33, repeating, million viewers per week. And then if you want to look at the rate of increase at week 12, you'd plug a 12 in for t, so that's going to be 4 over 3 times the cube root of 60 plus 24, which is 84. And that, when you plug it into your calculator, works out to be about 0 0.3 million viewers per week. And that value just comes from plugging this all in on your calculator. Now, the last part of the problem asks us to find the actual number of viewers. This is a rate of change. This is an increase of 330,000 uh, viewers per week, and this is an increase of about 300,000 viewers per week. To find the actual number of viewers, we have to plug values into the original function, and we'll do that next. So for the actual number of viewers, I go back to the original function. I'm going to plug in 2 and raise 64 to the 2 thirds power. Right? When I plug in a 2 here, I just get 60 plus 4. 64 to the 2 thirds is 4 squared, which is 16. So this is 16 million viewers. And then we can do the same thing with 12. Now, when you put 12 in, oh, I'm not supposed to do 12 here. I'm supposed to do 24. I was going to say this doesn't look right. Um, my eraser doesn't seem to be working here. So let's do this. I'm going to just change this on the fly. Sorry about this. Oh, goodness, I did it again. <laughs> We're supposed to check it for 24. Sorry about this. Okay, so I'm plugging in 24. 24 times 2 is 48. So this ends up being 108 raised to the 2 thirds power. 60 plus 48 is 108. Raising that to the 2 thirds power, you crank that out on your calculator, and you're going to get about 22.7 million viewers. And I'm just going to put a little smiley face up here, and we'll call that a one for the blooper reel. Uh, but the idea is when they ask for the number of viewers, you use the original function n of t. When they ask for the rate of increase or the rate of change, that's when you use the derivative. Uh, hopefully this didn't uh, make things worse, and good luck with the rest of your studies.